Good afternoon, guys. So, Laura here, Thrifty Adventures. Um, back for another quick video on 10 I clothing items, or 10 clothing shoe items, I guess I should say, um, that sell fast. All of these items that I am going to share with you sold within a week. Okay, I lied. Maybe two weeks. Um, but everything sold really fast. Um... And yeah, so I just got into the Posh game. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Mercari and Etsy and Facebook and Poshmark. And I've sold on Poshmark for a while now, but I decided to like up my game in it. I'm gonna, I actually did research and watched a whole bunch of other YouTube videos and researched brands. Um, and of course, I'm always still learning, but these are items that I have picked up um, that sold real, fairly fast for me. So I wanted to share those brands with you so you can uh, pick them up as well. Let's all make money. Um, so let's hop into it. I have 10 items I am going to share. Um, I spent $57 total on these items. They all sold for $319.95. I did 20% in fees on average, um, just because Poshmark has 20%, even though there are a few that sold on other platforms. I just did a quick 20% flat rate for all these for the purposes of this video. And that was uh, $63.99. So um, for these 10 items, I made $198.96, so not too bad. Um, so let's get into it first. We have a pair of volatile sandals. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but I liked the beading on them, and they were brand new, so I decided to look them up, and they seem to have fairly good comps, so I decided to pick them up. They were only $5, um, and they ended up selling within a couple weeks for $28, and these ones, I'm trying to remember, I, they sold, these ones I sold on eBay, um, so not too bad there. Next was a Free People shirt. Um, I've done pretty well with Free People since I've started picking it up. It's not a brand that I knew about. Um, and this was just a long sleeve, like, knit shirt. Nothing um, too special. A plain, solid gray. Um, and I bought this for, let's see, $5. And I sold it for $21. And yes, it's not a huge profit margin, but if I can make... $10, $10-$15 on an item and sell it within a week or two? Easy. Definitely. Um, why not? That's my motto at least. Um, so yeah, so that went out and it's nice and easy to ship. Stick it in a poly mailer and off it goes. So Free People is definitely a brand that I um, look out for. Next was a Torrid shirt. So this was like an open knit um, kind of like a, I guess it was a pullover shirt, but kind of almost like a cardigan with a longer um, neckline. Um, but this sold for full price on eBay within a, just a couple days. Um, and I bought it for, let's see, uh, $6 and it sold for $29.95. I don't always pick up Torrid because the thrift stores seem to price it a little bit higher than I would like to spend on a lot of items. Um, but if I really like the design or if it's a really nice piece, I will, um, or if it's a bigger size, then I will pick it up. But I don't try to spend more than like five or six dollars on it unless it's brand new with tags. Um, but this one sold really fast for me, so I was very happy with that. Next was a Harley Davidson shirt. This one sold within, I don't know, an hour, a day of me listing it. This was also really fast. Um, this was a long sleeve shirt. It had some beading to it. Um, I really liked the design. It was on the front and the back, and it was a good size. It was a size 3X, so this is why I decided to pick it up. I don't always pick up Harley shirts. I seem to do well with women's, then men's, and of course, the bigger the size, the better um, for me. So this I picked up for $5. I took an offer of $20 since I was selling it so fast. I was happy to, to hurry up and uh, make the money and get it out of there. I'd rather sell it fast it, <coughs> excuse me, and use that money to go and get more items and make more money than wait for an extra few dollars um, and sit on it longer. 
I, the turnaround is more important to me than a few dollars on the item. So that's how my um, store works and how my uh, margins work for me. It might be different for you, but I think it's really important to have that turnaround, use that money, and buy more, um, more items. <coughs> so next is another brand that does really well for me, and that's a Madewell. Um, this is also another brand that sometimes the stores sell um, or price high, so I don't always pick it up. Um, but this was a silk shirt. It was 100% silk, so I was decided I had to get that. Um, I really liked the print on it. I picked it up for $6, and it sold within a couple days for $25. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry guys. All right, so that sold for $25 within just a couple days. I think this one was um, Poshmark now. So that was a 20% fee, but um, I mean, they pay for shipping. So $20 and I spent six. So that's a quick $14 um, profit for just a, um, a couple days of work. Not even a couple days, a couple minutes of work. Um, next was a pair of Dansko shoes. So I have not, I think I'm like the odd one out because I know a lot of resellers love this brand and I do like this brand. Um, of course I, it's a very well-known brand and a lot of people know to pick it, but I just don't seem to do fantastic with it. A lot of them sit for a while for me. So I'm really picky when it comes to condition and design of my, of the shoes that I pick up in this brand. So I really liked the design of this brand. It screamed 90s to me, which is back out. Um, and it was in amazing condition. I don't know if they were even ever worn, but I did put pre-owned. Um, but I got these for $5 and they sold for 50 within a week. So um, on Poshmark. So that was a really great pickup. Um, so still look out for that. Just in my opinion, be picky with it. Make sure they're in great condition. Make sure the style is there. Um, next were a pair of snowsuit, um, why can't, I can't think of what I want to say, overalls, coveralls. Um, they, I've never heard of this brand, even though now that I've watched a couple other reseller videos, they have talked about it. So it might be a well-known brand if you know clothing well. I don't. So I'm not picky with name brand stuff. So I don't know all of those brands, but this was Obermeyer. Um, and this was a kid item. I don't normally shop the kids clothing. This was like on the end of a rack and it looked really well made. So I decided to look it up. Um, and it looked like it was uh, very, uh, the comps were great. Is what I'm trying to get to at. My goodness, I can't talk. So the comps are really good there. So I figured I would give it a shot. I mean, we're coming up to winter um, here in Chicago. So um, why not? Let's try it. And I grabbed it. It only had one like one little like salt mark on it. Um, other than that, it was in really good condition. I spent five dollars on it, and they sold for twenty two on um, Poshmark within a couple weeks. So it's definitely a brand I will continue to um, look out for. Next was a Bowden skirt. I really like Bowden. Um, some resellers say that it's not um, always great to pick up, and you have to be picky with it. With you which I'm sure you can. I do find it more often than the other brands. So you, you probably should be picky with it and don't spend too much on it. But this was an awesome skirt. It was very well made. Um, and I liked the design of it, the tan with the pink hearts. Um, you could find the style name on Google really easy with Bowdoin. So I um, was able to find that and stick that in there. And, um, yeah, it sold within just a couple days. So I spent $5 and it sold for $24 on Poshmark. Um, next was Eloquy. This was another brand I've never heard of. Um, but I guess it's a high designer in plus sizes. Um, so definitely look out for this brand. I saw this hanging up. It almost looked like a mother of the bride dress. It was brand new with the tags. It was really nice. It was all black. It was $10, so 
So I did a little bit of research because I don't like to spend too much on clothing, but this was brand new tags and it was really nice. The comps were definitely there, so I decided to grab it and it ended up selling for $65 for me. My pictures were probably not the great on this either. Um, I don't use a mannequin. That was one reason why I um, didn't do clothes earlier in my reselling career. I used to do some clothing, but I hated dressing the mannequin. So I decided to try it again, but to get some nice fabric to lay on the floor and then put that on top of it um, and do my pictures that way. And um, I actually enjoy doing clothing now. So you just might have to change it up if you're not a big fan of clothes, but I enjoy it now. Um, so I don't do a mannequin. So sometimes the longer pieces can be a little bit harder for me to um, picture. I'm sure I can get a hanger and put it on the wall and all that fun stuff, but I don't know. I'm lazy. I, I, I don't know. So I just decided not to um, do that, but it sold for $65 anyway. So it's still a great um, brand to look out for. And then last but not least for these pinup couture shoes, I loved these shoes. The um, the style of it just so stuck out to me. So that's why I grabbed them. Um, the brand looked like it could be a hit or miss, but I just loved the style. Um, it was very pinup, um, rock star uh, type look. And so I grabbed them for $5 and they sold within just a couple hours for me for $35. So those were great. So always look out for style too, not just the brand. Um, the style is just as important. But that was it for my 10 items. Let me know down below if there's any brands that you look out for all the time or if you like doing clothes or any tips for me. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope to see you guys in the future, and I will talk with you soon. Go have yourself a thrifty adventure. Bye, guys!